Hi, tonight I'm going to cook pulled pork in my Instant Pot. My son is getting an Instant Pot for Christmas. I asked him if he wanted one and he said yes because he wanted to know how to cook pulled pork. He had heard that that was really easy. So this video is really for him and I know there are a lot of people who are going to be getting Instant Pots this holiday season and will feel a little overwhelmed not knowing exactly what they're doing. So I'm going to just explain that it's very very simple. You basically only have four pieces in, in the box. You have your, your, your pot, your Instant Pot, the liner, the lid, you have this little button in here that, that you need to make sure is clean and snaps in place. And then you have your, your ring that goes on the inside of your lid to seal everything up. So once you have all that put together, you're ready to go. And your Instant Pot has um, some, some little um, directives here. You can hit uh, sealing or venting and when you're when you're cooking something in the pressure cooker it's important that this knob be pointing at sealing so that's what we're gonna do what I've done is I have taken a about a three pound Boston butt pork roast and I have made a little rub of brown sugar cumin chili powder salt and pepper and smoked paprika and I will put all those instructions uh, under the video here but I've rubbed that all on this um, this pork roast which I actually have taken the roast and cut it into four pieces so I am now going to put a little bit of canola oil in the instant pot and the first button I'm going to press on this is the saute button and I'm going to brown this meat a little bit before I start pressure cooking it see if the just a little bit of water in there that oil is starting to sizzle and I am going to take these four pieces of meat and just put them in there to get them brown that'll take about five minutes and I'll turn it over in a few minutes to make sure that all sides get brown and just make sure all those pieces get nice and brown on all sides Okay, so this, these pieces of meat have a nice brown sear to them. Oh, they look really good. And to keep this really simple, I'm just using bottled barbecue sauce. You can certainly make your own barbecue sauce, and it's not complicated. The important thing is just to make sure that you have at least two cups of liquid to cook this meat in, in the pressure cooker. <laughs> Just to make sure that I have plenty of liquid, I'm going to add about a half a cup of apple juice to this. All right. Make sure that that's all kind of mixed together. And now I'm ready to start pressure cooking. So I'm going to turn the pressure cooker off and put my lid in place with the arrow pointing to the ceiling mark. Seal that up and hit manual for 45 minutes. You'll notice right here that I can go up or down in how many minutes I want this thing to run. And it can go um, down to just like three minutes if you're cooking something really fast. But I'm going to do this for 45 minutes. And then I don't have to do anything. It doesn't beep or buzz or there's not an on button I have to hit it's ready to go what it will take it, it will take a little bit well I guess it does beep it will take a little bit of time um, possibly up to 20 minutes or 30 minutes for the pressure to build before the timer starts counting down that 45 minutes so we could be looking at maybe an hour before this is all ready to eat but if you think about how long it takes to do pulled pork on a, on a in a smoker or a grill this is a, a pretty quick meal. Okay, so the timer's been counting down for about six minutes. We, and um, it took about 10 minutes for the pressure to build to get to the 45 minute mark and then start counting down. This little valve 
when the pressure is building, this little valve at the very top is flat, flush, and when and you can it sputters and hisses a little bit, but when the pressure has built, that thing pops up and there's no more steam coming out. So don't worry about all that hissing and, and uh, sputtering during that time when the pressure is building. And once the pressure builds, this thing is locked. You can't open it. It's extremely safe. Okay, so the uh, pulled pork cooked in the Instant Pot for 45 minutes and then I let it do a natural release for more than 15 minutes. That just means that instead of venting quickly, I let, I let it just stay in the Instant Pot and right now I'm hitting the natural release and all of the steam has, has naturally released. So what I'm going to do now is, oh my gosh, this pork is so tender. It looks and it smells really good. I'm going to just put the pork on a tray. It is falling apart. It is so, <laughs> looks really good, just the way I wanted it. And what I'm going to do now is just cook this sauce down. We're going to turn this off and we're going to saute this sauce for about maybe 10 or 15 minutes until it just boils down so that it'll be perfect and then we'll put the pork back in. So my sauce has been kind of boiling down for a little bit. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to pour it into a measuring cup to just to see how much I have left here. It is really, it smells so good in this kitchen. Let me just say, oh my gosh. So we got about, we got about uh, two and a half cups there of barbecue sauce. Now, I also want to trim some of the fat off of this pork. Even though we all love fat, you know, we don't need a bunch of extra fat on this pork. So we're going to trim the extra fat off and then we'll just shred this pork and pour in some of this barbecue sauce. It's so good. It's just like falling apart. And then we can just sort of start to shred it. All right. It's just falling apart. Oh, it's so pretty and it's so moist and nice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. And then what I'm going to do is take about a cup of this barbecue sauce and just pour it over the, the pulled pork. The rest we'll save out if we want more for our sandwiches. So look at how pretty that is and look at, oh my gosh, that barbecue sauce smells so good. All right. All right, and then of course you wanna just put it on some lovely kind of white bread rolls. My favorite are Hawaiian rolls, you know, that have like all that fabulous sugar in them and they don't interfere with the, the flavor of the pork. And that is just a fabulous dinner. We're going to have that with a green salad. And I just want to say to my little son, Eric, Merry Christmas. I hope you love your Instant Pot and I hope you have as much success with pulled pork as your old mom has had.